Salutations everyone, this is Razor here bringing you another emblem tutorial as I do every single Sunday and today what I'm going to be giving you guys is a tutorial on how to make the Robotech Macross logo. Uh, it's a, it's an oldie but a goodie. It was really the uh, the first anime I got into when I was a kid. Uh, not the first one I saw, I believe uh, you know, there was maybe two that I saw before Robotech, but it was the first one that hooked me, really. It was the first one that I really got into and, and that I and I really liked. And it, it's it's one that I still like today. Um I have the entire uh series, the whole collection on DVD. Um I have the the first of the PlayStation 2 games, Battle Cry. I don't have Invasion. I played the demo of Invasion. It just didn't seem very good and, and didn't get good reviews. But Battle Cry was a really good game, also a good multiplayer. Um, but there was, I, I never finished the game because I got stuck on this damn escort mission where you're escorting the cat's eye, and it was just a bitch. But uh, I, I need to back to it sometime because I just, I, as a Robotech fan, I just need to finish it. It's a great franchise. I really like Robotech ever since I was a kid, and it's, uh, it's just a classic it was one of the first ever shows that i know of that actually kills off one of its central characters and i, I thought that was pretty cool even as a, as a kid and i read the books um yes there are books based for an anime um it's like six books but they like compile three of them into a book each so they're really two books long like i don't know 400 something pages but the books are really good as well um, anime is great, uh, but one part, uh, a difference between the two, um, which kind of bugged me, was like the the finale of like the first Robotech War, or no, the second one, the finale of the second Robotech War, um, where uh, uh, Lisa is in the SDF two, I believe, and uh, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but. And for those of you who haven't seen it, it's like a 30-year-old anime. I don't know why you haven't seen it or read the books or played the games or anything. But uh, the book extrapolates on a scene that is only briefly mentioned in the in the actual show. And that was disappointing because it was the best part of the book. And it isn't in the anime whatsoever. Um, but, you know, those differences will will be there. It's it's still it's still a good show. As as a kid, I guess I was really into like fighter jets and stuff. And you have a, like a robot fighter jet like hybrid. I mean, I know Transformers was a thing, but this was just a different level. It was militaristic, and it was just really cool. It was a lot of fun. The games are fun. The anime's fun. The books are fun, and it's just a really good series that I've I've always liked. So doing the uh, the Macross logo, I I believe I did this in black ops one as well but of course that was before i did emblem tutorials even though i should have at that time and never really thought about doing it uh but it's pretty simple um at the same time it's one that can really frustrate you um just trying to get the lines looking right making all the everything smooth because you're gonna need multiple layers for for certain aspects of the thing it is simple and straightforward it doesn't take a uh, too much deformation but um, there, there were like frustrating parts where it just, just, just didn't look right or the angle wasn't hitting where it needed it to. Uh, but it's still really easy. It's really simple. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, you actually need to make the black line a little thicker here that I'm showing. I do change it later, but you need to make it, uh, a little bigger to actually show up in the, uh, um, like your your character like title screen like whenever you capture the flag or something where it'll pop up your your gamer card with your emblem it won't show up on that so you have to make it a little bigger in order for for it to show up there but um i end up adding a little bit of a uh, detail here because you know it's, it's really st straight and simple it only takes a dozen layers to make the actual logo uh, that you're looking for so you know you could do whatever you want with adding some, you know, shuns, sunspots and, you know, shadow and, and whatever. I'm just, just doing a little thing here. Whatever you want. You have plenty of layers to, uh, to fool around with. But, you know, if you want to keep it plain and simple, cool too. 
I just decided, you know, to show you guys, you know, one little variation of what you could do with some um, with some lighting. But you know, you can really do whatever you want with it. Hell, you could even change the colors if you want. But uh, it was a it was, it was a good good logo. It doesn't take that long. It took me like 20 minutes to make, um, which is uh, much better than average. Um, but it looks good. It looks really good on your gun. Nice and simple. It's not, you know, square like some of the others. It's a nice circle. It fits well and everything. It looks good. It's symmetrical. or, or at least, Well, it doesn't need to look symmetrical because, you know, on some guns, the emblem is backwards. Like, I don't understand how they keep making that mistake with, uh, with a lot of their guns, but... You know, it looks good in all the guns, and uh, it's a pretty cool logo. So, hope you guys enjoyed just going step-by-step uh, step here on each uh, individual layer in case you guys didn't catch it. And I will see you next time. And comments, suggestions for uh, future logos are always appreciated.